welcome back guys to Ico! With Ico and Yorda chilling in the chair, they did a lot of travelling last episode. We got really, really far it seems, at least distance wise. But what lies beyond us looks a bit crazy and hectic. So let's start off with the puzzling. Jump! Would you like to come with me, Yorda? If you can, that is. I don't know if we should take her a lot of the places we're going after all. Sometimes you really are just better off served leaving her behind. Which of course is scary times. Right, where do we go from here though? These ropes have anything to do with this? Not so much, no, but it seems I can head down. At least by myself. Maybe go have a look around. Let's get on and move over. Mind you, I'm a bit unsure of where I can land. It seems there might be a small little place for me to bring my feet down. But that is a dizzying height, and that doesn't look good. If you're afraid of heights, that doesn't look good at all. Ico, though, pretty fearless, carries the sword everywhere. Alright, we're over and we're safe. It still begs the question, where on earth are we going now? We may be over this far, but getting up on high, it's not as easy as it seems, surely. Or maybe it's ridiculously easy, right. We're getting the order over? Nah, that's another question. That's another story. On the other side of the bridge at least. Now how to bring it down? I can't just push it, can I? Do I have to pull that golden chain? Is it slightly glowing and changing colours or is that just me? No, it's just me. Right, can I push it? Seems hitting it works a little bit. Is there any way I can put down my item and charge it or something? Ah! Hitting it up on high doesn't work as well as I thought it might. Sli slicing this bridge to bits here, but doesn't seem to be the answer so far. I think we might need to swing into it. Which means heading down this ladder. Or just making a clean jump wouldn't be a bad idea! That was a bit risky! As you can tell by the change in pitch of my voice. <sighs> Maybe I should have lined that up a bit more before doing the leap of faith. I know I've just saved, but that's not a good reason to go and die for the first time, is it? Right, where do we go? We're just jumping over this way, not hard, he says. Time to take the chain. Hopefully you're nice and safe over there, Yorda, because this looks stupid from my perspective. Everything I'm doing looks stupidly risky. So basically, I'm just jumping straight into it with as much momentum as I can muster. I can't kick it, naturally. Well, that seems to be what we needed. But that's only part of the way over, so yet again, Yorda, I know you've been having a rest, but we're going to have to order you to jump yet again. And this time she managed to grab the edge by herself. For some reason, I couldn't get Aiko to do his usual hold your hand out, help her routine. Okay, we got some fire going here. That makes me interested if there's some kind of fire puzzle going on. I don't think we're going that way. At least not yet. Where are you going, Yorda? Something of interest? Let's follow her. Her eyeline as well. Well, there's the way out, and it seems we got some more stuff to cut. Can we cut that down? That nah, seems to be chained. Oh, Yorda, we'll probably head that way soon. First of all, though, I need you. Considering we got sticks and a lot of bombs here. 
It looks like the aim of business is to do something explosive. The real question is, what? I wonder if that just flew off. We've got a stick as well, so we're going to have to leave something behind. Can I check one of these outside the window or something? We'd have to be moving to be able to chuck, it seems. That looks like a possibility, but I need to go and have a more of a look around. What, if anything, are we chucking this bomb at? And to be honest, I'd have to say down that hole looks like a fairly good option at the moment. Right, let's see. Anything to bomb down below? Doesn't look like it. Following that strut will the support? No. Something to move on top yet again. What is down there? I can't really see. Well, it does look like we can go down. So I'm just wondering... What importance, if any, is this section here? Seems we can edge around. And get into this tower. Right, we got here, but that doesn't really give us any clues on what we're go doing from here. It does look important though. So my wonder is, are we chucking a bomb? Come on, Iko, get down. Into that hole or into that middle bit. This could be crazy. Right, so we've done the investigation. Now is for the implementation. Yorda, would you like to protect my sword for me? I don't know how long we get after lighting it to be able to chuck it though. That's the main problem. Ooh, don't want to run off either. That would be stupid of me. Can I chuck it and light it at the same time? I don't think so. This could be monstrously bad. And it could work brilliantly. Still could be mon- no, okay, I was about to say, it still could be monstrously bad. Seem we've created another path onwards. Phew. That worked out better than I thought. There's also a rope going there, and by the look of it, I'm not sure why on earth there was a way for me to go round there. Hi Yoda, you're perfectly safe in here. I left you in your little cocoon. Would you like to come along? We've just done something kind of crazy. We've reshaped the land a little bit. I hope you will join me on this mystical quest. Come up, Yorda. Join me on the dark side. The other question is, what kind of rope and why was there a rope? fell down there. So it like one that I can actually reach and use, if you know what I mean? It's probably just the ropes from the scaffolding just fell apart. It does make me wonder all the same how sturdy these new platforms I've managed to make actually are. Right, so a chain to go upwards. We're going to have to leave you here yet again, Yorda. Bit by bit, piece by piece, we're moving over this terrain. Man, 
The blur on the camera angle moves. I know it gets to people. It gets to people indeed. My eyes! So what are we doing next? Right, so there's a way this way, but it doesn't seem to be go getting me anywhere. There's a box over there, which we can... Looks like that might be what we're doing with the box, to be honest. No, we can't pull you up here. So this box can only go off the edge. I thought we were going to push it that way in order to bring the order up. It seems like that box has to go down there no matter what. So, apart from that... We definitely need to get over there at some point in time, it seems. And this way doesn't really provide us with much in the way of help or anything. I don't think we can pull you- No way! That's way too high! What am I even thinking? Yeah, exactly no, says Yorda. Of course you say no. That little something something in the middle? Now that looks interesting. Looks like a movable platform like the crane we dealt with earlier. So this will allow me to get up over here. Sometimes I find Let's Playing really funny. And why I'm saying this is just that... You know like when you maths and your teachers always want you to show you're working. They want you to show how you work out things. This is basically what Let's Play is. I'm sh <laughs> sharing my thoughts, which are my working. I gotta jump onto that chain now. You're kidding me. This game wants Ico to do everything that one fall and that's game over. It's quite insane. Well, at least I'll, I'll take my time to line myself up this time, rather than just jump and do the leap of faith that I did before. That was a bit reckless. I'm glad that there's no shadow creatures around here, because this would have been hell otherwise. Right then! I guess all we can do is uh, jump. Line myself up nicely and go for it! Right, we're up on high, but I think... No, no, we don't want to go that low, Lyco. About there would do for the maximum amount of swing, wouldn't you say? Don't know about height. I guess we just give it a go. Not that he's going to get much swing with that much chain anyway. I think we can do it. Ah! Right, over and done. Please make some kind of lovely platform for me. Not for anyone else, for me. That way around, okay. Always anti-clockwise. I was slightly wondering if you'd just let me drop down somewhere nice and safe. What's going on? Okay. Pathway is made for Yorda. Brilliant. Let me line this up. Because that's way too dangerous. What are you doing? What are you making this kid do? Let's get as much momentum as we got. <laughs> I don't like these jumps. <laughs> this game's scary by proxy. I don't need to do horror games. Games like this are the ones that make me tense and ridiculous. You don't have lives. You don't have extra chances. It's boom. You can maybe be able to continue if you die, sure. Still. Ugh. And now you want me to do the jumps? Lovely. Right, let's uh, make this one. Without too much hassle. Hopefully it can support two people's weights. We're going right to the edge. Oh! <laughs> Okay, that was the wrong time, sir. And I don't like to fight you so near the edge anyway, because I might go off with my momentum. Yorda, into the middle. We're going to fight them, we'll fight them here. Especially because three hits is a kill. Are you disappearing? Good. Thank you. But that still means I have to make two more jumps now, thanks to that guy.
Thank God you ordered... Well, Ico jumps like a legend. No! Ico, you've got to put your hand over. Help the lady. Whew. There we go. That's better. And now I'm not really doing the handy thing. Seems like I just want to drag her up now rather than help her really properly. We've managed to make it through all that section. Whew. That was one massive long area puzzle. Now what have we got to deal with, if you know what I mean? What's next? Can they make it even worse? Yes will probably be the answer. I was expecting like a safe couch. Mind you, don't I recognize this area a little bit? Exactly, I do. Great, brilliant. We're at least somewhere new, somewhere better. Well, not somewhere new, but you know what I mean. Somewhere familiar. Somewhere that we know kind of like how this works. Okay, you closed. I imagine you're closed until we do some kind of extra set of puzzles. So let's go this way, madame, across the battlements. We're not going to fall for that thing again. We're on the other side of the gate at last. Made it all the way over. So were we really that near to escaping? So what do we got waiting for us? Another gigantic shrine again? The beautiful scenery, I like it! But to the right seems a bit empty. It's just ocean. Heading on inside and see what we're facing. Well, mind you, first of all, what's up here? Okay, nothing much. It'll just be a way in and out once we've lit those little brazier things. At least we know exactly what to do with them now. No, Yorda, don't run in on your own. That's when bad things happen, don't you know? Right, okay, nothing actually bad is happening, which is good. Is this like a mirror of the previous area? Well, let's have a look upwards, Yorda. Let's have a look. It looks more or less the same, gotta say. Weird cameras, I know. Okay, that door's closed. We need to light these braziers. Hopefully no shadow monsters appear. We got sticks and a sword. Just in case we need either. Where are you, my dear? Have you come up? So what's up this way? Okay, we can cut that rope, no problem. That seems to be like the first order of business at the very least. We've got a sword, we can cut things. Mind you, how do I actually reach to cut it? I am I'm I'm I am in a little bit of a spot of bother here. I wanna cut it at the cog, maybe. Yes, there we go. I think I did the other one a lot easier than that. So these rooms do have quite a bit of symmetry to them. Let's check the other side first of all, though. Uh, when you check the other side, you might find things you don't really want to see. And that's exactly how this has gone. You let go, big guy. I want the small guys, though. That I know I can get rid of them in three hits. And I waded in there. Got knocked out, but... Got a fair few hits on the smaller ones. Maybe we shouldn't be fighting this close to a portal, but I can always drag her out if need be. Okay, I'm facing away from you. Take the trick. Oh, no, there's more coming. Three hits on you. Got my three hits on him. You get up there. Don't you dare touch your order. And there's you defeated as well. Is that the room? 
The portals are dissipating. No safe couch this time, though. We can cut down that as well. So an entry to both sides. No problemo setting those off. Yoda, come on. Let's check out the next room. It seems to be incredibly watery in here. Okay, this side seems to be yet another water puzzle. Can we scale the sides? We can again. It's a way out. Let's just check the other side. We've got two routes after all. We may as well check both. They may both provide us with different kind of answers. Okay, in this room though, however, we've got a save couch brilliant, a ladder that goes upwards. Apart from that, not much, but we'll check out these new areas next episode, guys. Or it seems actually a lot more is out there. And I thought it seems to be, yes, a mirror of the previous place we've been before with the podium as well. So we've managed to clear that massively scaffolded area and we've got ourselves round to the next side of the gate. Hopefully we can charge it up and make our escape soon. But join me for more Ico next time. Bye-bye.